Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with Paul Caption. And over here, I have this strategy to show you guys. I actually make use of this strategy on my last video. But believe me guys, throughout the last week, it has been a very powerful one. And I wanted to show you again, all right? The one thing I actually observe about this strategy is the fact that you always need to trade it on a very stable market. If you trade a strategy on a very simple market with all the rules and guidelines I laid out on this video, I guarantee you a very strong uh, winning rate. All right. So over here, I'm also using this um, volatility index website that are literally going to tell me the best moment to actually trade of the day. So all you just have to do, just come down on this part and select the day that you want to trade, which is today. Just click on today. And of course, on the time zone, you need to select the time zone that you're staying for you to know the best moment the market is actually stable on your time zone. All right. So right now I'm going to select my time zone or right, I'm going to select it right here. As you can see, I get scan and I get this update here. So literally this strategy is telling me that I can start trading um, AUD Canada from eight o'clock to 12 PM. All right. Which is low. It means that the volatility is low. It means that the market is actually stable. All right. But this particular one here, you can see that it gives us a medium. So it actually means that we can only trade this particular symbol from eight o'clock to nine am it means that you can only trade it for one hour so after one hour you should expect a high volatility in the market which is not a good thing to do always make sure that you stick through on the low volatility all right so you can see there are a lot of coins appear here so all i just have to do is to put up the coins appear up that is on a low volatility so that i can actually trade and you can see it actually indicate that we can only trade it from eight o'clock to 12 p.m which is very good so right now i'm going to put up my currency pair up real quick and um let me check again i'm going to put up my currency pair up real quick on pocket option and of course i'll be analyzing the market so when i get a good moment i'm going to come down and enter a trade all right so guys i've actually put up the currency pair up there real quick so the link to this volatility website will be on the description just go ahead and check it out if you're finding it difficult to know the best time to trade in your location all right so right now i'll be analyzing the market so when i get a good moment i'm going to come down and enter the trade so do not forget it's a one minute trade time all right we're doing this on a one minute trade time and on 30 second candle time frame i'm also using it on hanky as you can just take i hope you understand I'll be analyzing now guys okay guys over here i'm actually checking this out all right and before you actually enter a trade the number one thing to confirm is to make sure that you confirm a signal from your super trend or right, this is actually a good moment let me enter the trade real quick before i start the explanation so before you actually enter a trade for example if you are going for an up trade the number one thing is to confirm your signal of a super trend so make sure that your super trend signal indicate for you to enter the trade the second thing is to confirm the trend of that particular um trade so make sure that when you have your super trend um signal indicate make sure that all the candlestick above the signal is actually giving you a very powerful trend the third thing is to make sure that you're always taking your trade um when your super trend is very close to the downline of the bollinger band here the red line here so make sure that you have your super trend is either you have it out of the band of the of the red line or inside of the band but always make sure that you have the trend indicates very close to the um downline of the bollinger band i hope you understand for you i can say when the money in that and the last thing to confirm is your um candlestick always make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on it's very powerful all right so make sure that you're having a very strong um candlestick before you place the trade so if you're having a choppy candlestick just like what is happening right now do not enter a trade so make sure that you confirm the strong trend with the candlestick before you enter a trade all right i hope you understand it's as simple as that a good one there guys keep analyzing okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment all right i'm going to enter a trade on this one as you can see this is a very perfect moment as you can see right here our signal our super trend signal um was it called indicate very close to the downline of the blinker band the red line right here and of course you can see the trend has been going up ever since then so another thing i would love to actually add it is the fact that do not enter the trade when you see any of the candlestick break below the line of the super trend do not enter the trade always make sure that you have all the candlestick above the super trend line here it's very important all right 
and also make sure that you are placing your trade only on a very strong candlestick over here the few candlestick right here was actually choppy and never really entered the trade i make sure that i wait until i have a strong confirmation of the candlestick before i place the trade and so when the money on that so let's make sure that you are placing your trade only on a very strong candlestick and then when your signal indicate make sure that you have a strong confirmation of an uptrend before you enter a trade all right a good one here guys keep analyzing okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment i'm going to enter this trade um real quick as you can see right here this is a very powerful candlestick and the last week of this stick here try to reverse but when it gets to this position the trend actually bounces back so i do not forget i also check my super trend uh what's it called indicator here as you can see it's actually inside of the bollinger band at the top of the downline of the bollinger band so this is a perfect condition and you can see that the last few candlesticks above the line, above our super trend, is very powerful as well. Like I just said, this strategy will work very powerful if you're using it on a very stable market. I could want you guys wait in the menu on that. So, guys, like I said, this strategy actually works very powerful when the market is stable. So, let's make sure that you're confirming that at your own end to know the perfect time to actually enter the trade or make use of the volatility index website to actually confirm that. All right. A good one there guys keep analyzing all right guys over here i'm finding another moment i'm going to enter this trade um real quick all right this is actually a very perfect moment you can see right here we have our indication of our super trend and the last week on stick has been confirming a very strong uptrend in a short form always make sure that you're confirming the trend after you get your signal from super trend always make sure that you're confirming a very strong uptrend before you enter a trade i hope you understand and let's make sure that you're placing your trade in a very strong candlestick. It's very important. All right. Good one, there, guys. When the money in bad, that's actually a very good one. Keep analyzing, guys. All right, guys. Over here, I'm checking this out. It's actually a good moment. I'm going to enter this trade real quick. As you can see right here, the trend over here just started. We have our super strength signal in a very good position. It's very close to the um, downline of the Bollinger Band. You can see that the few candlestick above it is very strong. This is actually a very strong trend. So that's the reason why I place the trade. All right. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. All right, guys. So right now we have less than five seconds. A good one here, guys. And the money is there. It's actually a powerful one. So guys, actually, I hope you understand how this works right now. All right. Keep analyzing. Okay, guys, over here I'm finding a good moment for a down trade. So right now I'm going to place my trade on night real quick. As you can see, um, this is actually a very perfect condition. We have our super trend, all right, close to our Bollinger Band upper line here. You can see the few candlestick below it is very powerful, confirming the downtrend. So I only make sure I place my trade on a very strong candlestick, which is this one. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. We have less than 27 seconds right now to close this trade. So let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one in the next few seconds. Okay, guys, we have less than one second. A good one here, guys. We end the money. All right, guys, so this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. So guys, I hope you actually understand how this works. Um, it's a very simple strategy, like I said earlier on, and it is very effective if you use it according to the explanation i made on this video like i said earlier on you also need to confirm the time you're trading or let's make sure that all the coins you're using are very stable all right this is stability in the market that is very easy for you to predict the next direction not in a very high volatility whereby you can't really catch up all right so always make sure that currency pair you're trading on is very stable based on the location you are so if you wanted to use the volatility index website the link will be in the description you can actually go ahead and check it out and see if it's going to work for you or actually make your research to know the best time the best moment to actually trade in your location so guys this is where i'm going to stop on today's video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video